My name is Brooke Espenshade. I'm 22 years old and I'm from Westchester, Pennsylvania. I've been with Headstrong since May. I graduated from Dickinson College and started the very next day. I'm the marketing assistant, so I assist Jen, our director of marketing. I mostly run social media, take pictures, do graphics, update websites, kind of anything related to marketing. I have a history of breast cancer in my family. My grandma and great-grandmother had it, and my grandfather also had throat cancer. Luckily, they all beat it, so I've been fortunate enough in that sense that it hasn't affected me too much, but I do know the reality and struggles of having cancer. Away from work, I am a very big family person. I love my family, spend most of my time with them. I have a sister who's my best friend. My grandfather was actually the football coach at Westchester University, so you can find us mostly at a football game doing something or around Westchester, on Westchester's campus. Um, I love hanging out with my friends when I get the chance, my college teammates. When I was at Dickinson, I played softball and I was also the president of SAC, so I got to see how student athletes can get involved within the community and help benefit from um, different organizations. And that's actually how I first learned about Headstrong was through my men's lacrosse team. I saw them doing a fundraiser for us, our mustache madness. What really brought me to Headstrong is I felt really aligned with their values. And being a collegiate athlete myself, I felt connected to Nick almost in that way and what he was doing. My favorite thing about working with Headstrong is the people that we get to work with. Every single person that we come in contact with has a positive outlook and a positive attitude, whether it's a volunteer, a benefactor, anyone. You would have never have known that they had a chemo treatment yesterday. They're at our event smiling. It really inspires me to have that outlook on my life, um, just being positive and smiling and knowing that other people do have it worse than I do.